Thank you. Sometimes I think people overdo this business of worshiping culture, and for one simple reason. The mere fact that a man has a gift for telling stories and writing them down as a novel or a play doesn't necessarily mean he's got the last word on a subject, not by a long shot. It used to be the fashion, and it wasn't so long ago, to make mother the villain of certain tragedies. Everything that went wrong with the kids was placed at mom's doorstep. Momism was the operative term. It was identified by a bunch of clever writers as something that was unmitigatedly bad for you, like whooping cough or a slip disc. Recently, I came across an article by a young woman entitled, I had the meanest mother in the world. I said to myself, this is it, the last straw, the end of poor old mom. But I'd like to read you a couple of lines from that article anyway. It didn't turn out to be at all what I expected after this word. I had the meanest mother in the whole world, this article began. While the other kids ate candy for breakfast, I had to have cereal. While others had Cokes and candy for lunch, I had to eat a sandwich. You'd think we were on a chain gang. She had to know who our friends were and what we were doing. I'm nearly ashamed to admit it, but she actually spanked us. What's more, my mother had the nerve to break the child labor law. She made us work, wash dishes, make beds, learn to cook, and all sorts of cruel things. My mother, she said, always insisted upon our telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, even if it killed us, and it nearly did. Well, this mother did even worse things as her kids grew up. She had to meet all the boyfriends. She wouldn't let her daughter date until she was 15 or 16. In school, she insisted that her girl get nothing but ugly black marks that meant she'd passed, instead of comfortable red marks that spelled failure. The whole lot of her kids turned out to be peculiar. What do you know? None of them ever got arrested, never was divorced, and never beat or got beaten by his or her spouse. Now, I'm a mother, she said, finishing the article. And I stand a little taller and am filled with pride when my children call me mean, because I thank my stars. I had the meanest mother in the whole world. Now, if that's what's meant by momism, I think we've got to be pretty thankful for that kind of mom. Somebody once said that the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. It's so true.